Period pain is incredibly common. Most people with periods experience it at some point. It can be a mild ache or so intense it disrupts your life. You may have been told to just deal with it, but your pain is real and valid. Feeling this way doesn't make you weak, it makes you human. Millions share this experience even if it feels isolating. The silence around menstrual health makes many feel alone, but you're not. Your friends, colleagues, and family members have likely gone through the same thing. Acknowledging this shared reality is the first step toward finding solutions. For too long, period talk has been avoided, leading to a lack of knowledge and support. Many don't know what's happening in their bodies or how to describe their pain. We need to normalize these conversations and support each other. Open discussion helps us learn, share what works, and recognize when pain signals something more serious. Your period is a normal biological function, not a secret. The pain that comes with it deserves real solutions. This guide will give you practical, evidence-based strategies for managing pain. You deserve to feel good and have your concerns taken seriously. What's actually happening during period pain? The medical term is dysmenorrhea. Your uterus contracts to shed its lining, causing pain when contractions are strong. Prostaglandins, chemicals made in the uterus, trigger these contractions. Higher prostaglandin levels mean more pain. This isn't about willpower, it's biology. There are two types of dysmenorrhea, primary and secondary. Primary is common cramping not caused by disease, often starting soon after your first period. It can improve with age or after childbirth. Secondary dysmenorrhea is caused by conditions like endometriosis or fibroids. This pain often starts later, lasts longer, and can worsen over time. If your pain is severe or changes, it could be a sign of an underlying condition. Understanding the cause is key to finding relief. How do you know if your pain is normal? Typical cramps are throbbing or cramping in the lower abdomen, starting a day or two before your period and lasting up to three days. They may radiate to your back or thighs and are usually manageable with home remedies or over-the-counter meds. Red flags, pain so severe you miss work or school, pain that doesn't respond to medication, pain that starts later in life, or pain outside your period. Pain during sex, urination, or bowel movements or very heavy bleeding are also warning signs. If you notice these, talk to a doctor. Don't ignore your body's signals. Your health is worth investigating. Let's talk relief. Heat therapy, like a heating pad or warm bath, relaxes uterine muscles and eases pain. Gentle exercise such as walking or yoga releases endorphins and improves circulation. Focus on anti-inflammatory foods, omega-3s, salmon, walnuts. Focus on anti-inflammatory foods, magnesium, dark chocolate, avocados, greens. Limit processed foods and sugary drinks before your period. Stay hydrated. NSAIDs like ibuprofen block prostaglandins, start them as soon as cramps begin. Herbal teas, chamomile, ginger, peppermint, can soothe cramps and calm your stomach. Listen to your body and choose what feels supportive. Small changes can make a big difference. Experiment to find what works for you. Relief is possible. Sleep and stress have a huge impact on period pain. Poor sleep lowers your pain threshold and disrupts hormones, making cramps worse. Aim for 7-9 hours of quality sleep, especially before your period. Stick to a sleep schedule and create a calming bedtime routine. Stress increases cortisol, which can worsen cramps and make periods irregular. Managing stress is essential. Try mindfulness, deep breathing, or spending time in nature. Physical activity is a proven stress buster. Even a few minutes of relaxation can help. By managing sleep and stress, you're setting yourself up for a less painful period. Take care of your mind and body all month long. It makes a real difference. If home remedies and OTC meds aren't enough, don't just endure the pain. Severe, life-disrupting period pain is a reason to see a doctor. Track your symptoms, when pain starts, how intense it is, and what helps. Bring this info to your appointment for a clearer diagnosis. Ask direct questions and don't accept being dismissed. If needed, seek a second opinion. Effective treatments exist from hormonal birth control to other medications and procedures. You deserve a provider who listens and supports you. Taking action is self-care and empowerment. You have the right to a pain-free life every day of the month.